Hello, and welcome to the Inner Peace Process. The Inner Journey Healing Peace Process is a way to use parts integration, somatic experiencing, collapsing anchors, resourcing, future pacing, and neural language patterns in one easy method to process your issues one at a time. The inner peace process can be used to deal with issues of complex trauma for emotional relief and helping move forward with your recovery and wellness journey. Each step is a step towards inner peace. I will read each card one at a time and ask you to do what the card says before moving on to the next card. So we're on card one. Think about a problem, an issue, a negative feeling that's bothering you. Just think about it until you can feel it. You might want to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the worst, how distressful it is to you. It can be any problem. <clears throat> how do you know you have a problem? Well, you usually feel it as a negative feeling or an issue. So I just want you to feel it and then I'm going to move on through the process now. When you think about this problem, where do you feel it in your body? Tune into that body sensation and see what shape is it? Look at it with your mind's eye. What color is it? Go within and imagine you can lift it. What does it weigh? Feel and sense it some more. What temperature is it? Tune into it a little more and listen. What does it sound like? Now that which we just described represents an unconscious part of you that is generating your problem. Now that we've described this part, we can communicate it with it easier. Just using your imagination, put that part of you that you just described into your left hand. Just pretend you put it in your left hand. Now ask that part in your left hand, are you willing to communicate with me? If it says yes, say thank you. And then ask it, what do you want? Are you trying to help me in some way? How? Now put your left hand aside for now and put out your right hand. Using your imagination, you're going to put nine resources into your right hand. One by one, I will read a resource card. Just tune into the word or the state of mind and feel it the best you can. Then put that feeling, or just pretend to, put that feeling into your right hand before I go on to the next card. Here we go. Putting out your right hand, I want you to put love there. Put your strength there. And now your courage. Imagine you're putting your centeredness and groundedness there in the here and now. Think of your faith and put your faith there. And now think of gratitude. Think of all the things you're grateful for and put that into your right hand. Energy. Put your sense of personal energy there. Power. Put your sense of personal power there in your right hand, just like that. 
You're doing good. Now lastly, put your compassion in your right hand, especially self-compassion for all the things that you've been through. Now hold both of your hands up and ask the left hand, the part with the problem, are you willing to work together with the right hand, the part with the resources, to get what you said you wanted, but without all those negative feelings? If it says yes, we're going to continue. If it says no, I want you to smack your hands together, shake them out, and I'll let you know when to pick up again. Now, if it said yes, it was willing to work together, then let your hands move together to symbolize working together. That's right, let your hands just come together, holding each other, to form a new part. This new part is full of resources, so it's sort of like a new super part that helps you move forward with what you want, but without all the negative feelings that keep you stuck or hold you back. Instead, you've got resources. Hold your hands together and ask your new super part, now that this issue has been resolved, what's the first thing I should do to take care of myself regarding this issue. And just see what comes up. You might want to write it down. Then ask, what's the second thing I need to do in order to take care of myself and move forward with this issue? And then just see what comes up. If the answers feel right to you, write them down. And take a few moments to just imagine seeing yourself doing them <clears throat> in the near future. Now this is where you want to pick back up whether it said yes or no. Just take a deep breath and smile. Let go and shake your hands out to let all of this go. Then break the state by looking around the room for a few seconds. Pick out an item to look at. Just notice the shape and color of it, just to sort of break your trance state and come back to the room. Feel your butt in the chair and your feet on the ground. Now let's check the results. I want you to go back and think about that original problem again that we started with, that you rated on a scale of 1 to 10. What number was it? And just compare it with how it feels now and what number it might be now. So you just want to go look back at that problem and see how you're feeling, what you're thinking about it, any differences from when we started to now. Only eight minutes have gone by, but you may have felt a subtle shift or a profound deep change. That's why it's good to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10 so you can tell the difference. Now, I just want you to put down the date so you can mark your calendar for two weeks from now. And I just want you to focus on getting your actions accomplished and whatever naturally feels like next steps of what you want to happen next. And then two weeks from now, I want you to look back on this problem before we did this process and just compare with how you're feeling then to how you're feeling now and make note of what actions you have taken to move forward. And just remember, anytime you feel upset, a problem, negative emotion, some kind of issue, any problem, you just come back to this video, come back to doing the inner peace process, starting with just that step one, thinking about the problem, and rating it on a scale of one to ten and continuing forward. We are now at nine and a half minutes, and like I say, it takes 10 to 15 minutes a day to clear one issue a day up. It's as simple as that. If you continue using this process, you'll see some nice accumulated effects of being calmer and less reactive, and use this as a tool to help you with emotional regulation, helping you get unstuck, 
helping you to see more of the truth, helping you to call up your resources to help deal with the problems that everyone has. Just use it as a tool on your journey and pathway. And remember, nobody's perfect and nobody's ever going to not have problems. It's how you deal with them that counts because your issues matter. Processing them and transforming them and integrating them also matters a lot. Hugs for your journey.